Saying the Mantra, Part 1 Learning to meditate is learning to say the mantra. And because it is as simple as this, we should be quite clear in our understanding of the process of saying the mantra. We must grow in our fidelity to the mantra, and in the same proportion, the mantra grows more and more deeply rooted in us. As you know, the mantra I recommend you to say is the word Maranatha, the ancient Aramaic prayer which means Come Lord, Come Lord Jesus. And I suggest that you articulate it in your mind, silently, with equal stress on each of the four syllables. Maranatha. Most of us begin saying the mantra. That is, it seems as though we are speaking it, with our mind, silently, somewhere in our head. But as we make progress, the mantra becomes more familiar, less of a stranger, less of an intruder in our consciousness. We find less effort is required to persevere in saying it throughout the time of our meditation. And then it seems that we are not so much speaking it in our minds, as sounding it in our heart. And this is the stage that we describe as the mantra becoming rooted in our hearts. No metaphor is really very satisfactory in this matter, but it's sometimes helpful and reassuring to know that one's own experience in meditation is also the general experience of the faithful. And so, at this stage of sounding the mantra in your heart, you might describe it as similar to lightly pushing a pendulum that needs only a slight stimulus to set it swinging in a calm, steady rhythm. It's at this moment that our meditation is really beginning. We are really beginning to concentrate away from ourselves, because from now on, instead of either saying or sounding the mantra, we begin to listen to it, wrapped in ever-deepening attention. When he described this stage of meditation, my teacher used to say that from this moment on, it's as though the mantra is sounding in the valley below us, while we are toiling up the side of a mountain. Meditation is, in essence, the art of concentration, precisely because the higher we toil up the mountainside, the fainter becomes the mantra sounding in the valley below us. And so, the more attentively and seriously we have to listen to it. There then comes the day when we enter that cloud of unknowing in which there is silence, absolute, and we can no longer hear the mantra. But you must always remember, we cannot attempt to force the pace of meditation in any way, or to speed up the natural process in which the mantra roots itself in our consciousness by means of our simple fidelity in saying it. We must not be self-consciously asking ourselves, how far have I got? Am I saying the mantra, or sounding it, or listening to it? If we try to force the pace, or to keep a constant self-conscious eye on our progress, we are, if there is such a word, non-meditating, because we are concentrating on ourselves, putting ourselves first, thinking about ourselves. Meditation requires complete simplicity. We are led to that complete simplicity, but we begin and continue by saying the mantra. <laughs>